Thank you so much for joining us bright and early for a session of the day here at the Redwood Theater to learn more about Salesforce Essentials. My name is Renee Sealanders, and I'm on our SMB product marketing team here at Salesforce. Um, so quick question, just to kick things off. How many of you all had heard about Salesforce Essentials prior to reading about this session today? Oh, great. OK, I'm so glad to see that some of you are familiar with Essentials. I'm even happier that more of you are here to learn about it for the first time. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in. Just a quick forward-looking statement. Um, if, please be sure to base all of your purchasing decisions on products and services that are currently available. Um, but diving right in, you know, it's no surprise that small business really is big business. 90% of the world's business population are made up by SMBs. And more than that, 55% of GDP growth in developed countries is contributed by small businesses. So they have a huge impact on the world's economy, on job quality, um, they're a big stakeholder. And it's a really interesting when you think about the, reason, the things that are motivating these small businesses to go into existence. Why are small businesses kicking things off? Why are they pursuing something that admittedly can be a pretty intense effort? And every year at Salesforce, we do our state of the SMB report. And so we found out a, a bit more about the reasons why people are starting their small businesses, which just so you all we know, we define a small to medium-sized businesses anywhere between one to 200 employees. And so of course there's some financial motivation behind wanting to start your own business, but people are also motivated by the idea of being their own boss, by having a more flexible schedule, and many times they're also looking to pursue an idea that they think has a lot of potential that can make a difference in the world. But when it actually comes sitting their business off the ground, it, there's a lot of obstacles and challenges that come along with it. Um, in that same report, we found that small business leaders are actually doing the work of a, more than four people at their organization. And when they graduate to that medium status, um, they're still doing three and, a half times, three and a half times the work of a typical job. When you add on the, uh, the idea that they're managing folks that also have multiple roles that they're balancing, you kind of start to get a sense of how all those competing priorities coupled with the fact that they probably have limited resources, tight budgets, are really putting a strain on them and it makes it even more of a challenge to make sure that they get their business profitable and growing. So here at Salesforce, we really started to think about ways that we could help small business leaders in this path to pursuing that entrepreneurial journey, to making their ideas a reality, and to making more jobs, right? To building a better world. Um, oftentimes, they're pursuing an idea they really believe in, um, and that's why they're so committed on this journey. Well, our answer to this question was to build Salesforce Essentials. It's our product for small businesses aimed at companies that have between one to 20 employees, and it's built so that they can get set up quickly, so that they can sell faster and smarter and provide more efficient, timely customer support. And it's built so that it will grow with them over time. It means that they won't have to migrate off once they get to a larger size and are, and are growing at a rapid pace. So today, what I'd like to share with you all are the three things you need to know when you leave Trailhead DX this year about Salesforce Essentials and why it's relevant to you. The first thing, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about why we built Salesforce Essentials. We've scratched the surface, but I'm going to tell you about what we heard from our small business leaders and how we translated that into the product we have today. The second thing, I want to share what's different about it from our other offerings. We get a lot of questions about how this fits into the overall landscape of Salesforce products, so I'm going to answer that today. And then finally, I want to inspire you all a bit. You know, here at Trailhead DX, we have a lot of people who are developers, people who are creating new applications, who are thinking about ways that they can make Salesforce even better. And I want to tell you guys about opportunities we have to integrate um, or to build integrations that will work with Essentials and help our small business leaders. So to get things going, um, like I said, we really wanted to build a product that took into account feedback from our small businesses. Um, we heard that what they really wanted was something that was simple to set up. It wasn't a huge, complex integration. They wanted something that was relevant, right? Something that would focus on helping them track their leads, close more deals, and provide great customer service. And they wanted something that, they could grow, that would grow with them over time. Uh, small businesses are pretty accustomed to starting off with tools that don't really stand the test of time, that won't expand with them as they grow. It was a big concern for them and something that we really wanted to take into account as they were evaluating Salesforce. And so that's what we tried to deliver on with Essentials. We have a product that incorporates both sales and service functionality, 
but provides that really smooth onboarding experience. It has guided walkthroughs that give users a tour of the platform so they understand how to use leads, how to use the different objects we've incorporated into the platform. And on top of that, we also have incorporated Einstein Activity Capture, helps them work faster and smarter. We have a whole suite of apps on the App Exchange built specifically with small businesses in mind, and we also have mobile capabilities. You'll see that we also have a lot of interesting features for sales and service, like custom sales processes. We've also brought in macros from the customer service side so that people can respond more efficiently. We've, we've chosen these features to incorporate into this product so that it's the best situation for small businesses. And I should mention, we also have a small business uh, Salesforce Essentials customer who also happens to be a Salesforce MVP that's going to be sharing more about his experience later today. So I'm excited for him to tell you a bit more about how this product is working for him and his small business. But now that I've told you a bit about what this product is, I'd like to get to our second part, which is how is it different from our other offerings? How does it fit into the landscape of products at Salesforce? So the first thing that's helpful to know is that Essentials is really built for a small team that's running a single process. This means that you're, again, pretty small, a, a business that has between one to 20 employees just starting out, and that you don't have a complex inside sales, field sales team. You're all one on one united front with the same process, um, trying to achieve on a mission of selling more, providing customer service, scaling. When you think about Sales Cloud, Service Cloud, Professional Edition, and up, this is where you have a more complex team. You probably have some more hierarchy in your organization, and you have um, multi-tiered processes um, that require things like integrations, more customization, APIs. All of this uh, sort of distinguishes from what the essentials customer would ideally be using. And so this is a, a more uh, helpful side-by-side -side comparison of the key differences between Essentials and then our PE additions and up. But Essentials, again, has that max uh, user uh, or 10 cap license. Um, it's ideal for folks that are coming from a spreadsheet or shared inbox scenario and that really just wants simple, straightforward functionality and isn't looking to have a partner help them implement. On the PE side of things, this is where if you've already been using Salesforce and are used to having those custom objects, um, you probably want to use uh, select PE. And also, if you're thinking about bringing on an implementation partner to help manage this or even an admin to help you run it day to day, you, um, PE is going to be a better fit. We also have on this right column here just a breakdown of the key features that aren't included with Essentials so you guys can understand what that looks like. Um, if you're engaging with folks that have questions about Essentials or if you're even trying to answer questions about it, these are the so features that we found are, are good to just understand when, it, um, when you're making a decision between editions. And of course, there's the price difference. Uh, Essentials is $25 per user per month and our other editions start at $75 per user per month. All right, and so before we get into our Q&A with our Salesforce MVP, um, I want to spend a little time on this third piece, which is inspiring you all to think about ways you could build integrations uh, for Essentials and help our small business leaders. As I mentioned earlier, we have a whole host of apps on our small business collection on the App Exchange, and these have really been curated to solve problems that our small business leaders have told us about. So we have integrations like MailChimp and DocuSign and Dropbox, things that will really help them pull their business together um, and so that they're all operating from one place. But we're always working to curate more apps and to make improvements to that collection, and so it's something our team actively works on. But this is where we'd love to get the collective energy of the Ohana behind it. If you're looking for ways that you might be able to flex a new muscle, building an app, um, or exploring what it's like to even do an integration with Salesforce, Essentials is a really great starting point for you to talk about. And if you have ideas and want to talk about them, I'd be happy to chat with you after. Or if you want ideas, I'd be happy to share with you more about what we're hearing from our customers. Because as a member of our marketing team, chatting with our customers day in, day out is something I get to do frequently. And so I'd be happy to tell you more about what they're saying about Essentials. But now, uh, for a very exciting part of our session, I'm excited to introduce, introduce Rakesh Gupta, um, a Salesforce MVP and current Salesforce Essentials customers. Help me welcome Rakesh. Good morning. Good morning. And thank you. Absolutely, thank you for being here. Um, Rakesh, I was hoping you could start off by telling us a little bit about yourself and your MVP journey. 
<gasps> okay, so my name is Rakesh Gupta. I'm six time Salesforce MVP, a blogger at automationchampion.com. I author six books in Salesforce. I'm currently working on a few more and working with many other publishers across the globe to write more content. So I started my journey in 2011 as a Salesforce developer and then after one and a half years I come to know that Salesforce has a developer user group program that help people like me who don't know about Salesforce, uh, the ecosystems and students that pass out, graduate from the college and don't know how to start their journey in Salesforce. So I started a uh, user group program in India, Mumbai. So I run Mumbai Developer User Group. I help people to learn and come into the Salesforce and start their career in Salesforce. So that's how I started and then I found that Salesforce has a community group program that is called Success Community at that time. Now it's a Trailblazer community. I started Trailblazer community writing answers and then I, then subsequently I started my blog Automation Champion and I wrote blog post about Salesforce releases, automation in Salesforce, Pardot and FX and then uh, my career started and people from the community helped me to reach here. That's awesome. What I love about your story is it really shows how you sort of, you were brought into the Ohana and then you started paying it forward and it just kind of gave you that much more ROI on all that investment yes. you were pouring so, in. Yep. Basically all Ohana helped me because I came from a background, English is not my first language, it's my secondary language mm -hmm. and I come from a village where people have to walk a couple of miles to go to a school. So. Obviously for me, I am thankful to Ohana. They helped me to learn and learn not only Salesforce, but learn everything like how to write blogging. They helped me to improve my writing skills. They helped me to improve my speaking uh, skills and everything. So them. Look and at you now, leading sessions at Trailhead DX. Yes, <laughs> and uh, I presented last four times in Dreamforce too. So, and I speak yeah. lots of sessions here in the States and India. Awesome. Thank you. So great. Well. The other thing I'd love, obviously the reason you're here, Salesforce Essentials. Yes, you're a Salesforce developer, but you also happen to be a Salesforce Essentials customer. Yeah. Um, I'd love it if you could tell us more about what you, from your developer perspective, really love about the platform and how it's been able to help you in running your small business. To be frank, when I, a uh, couple years back when I started looking at some CRM because I write blogs, I give trainings and things, so I need some a system where I can manage my uh, deals, leads, and opportunity. I look a couple of systems, but I found that Salesforce is the right platform because Essentials give you the wings. It has process builder, it has lightning flow, it has uh, validation rules, formula, and page layout lightning experience. And apart from it, it has the inbox that connect your Gmail on our Office 365 to Salesforce, and it capture everything automatically. That is Einstein activity capture. So you don't have to manually enter anything. If you create an event in Salesforce or Gmail or Office 365, it automatically sync with Salesforce or vice versa. If you send email from yeah. here, it will be there and vice versa. So it helps in a way that you don't have to do the redundant work. You don't have to go and do Excel or write somewhere to get a notification or you have to call someone uh, or you have some deadline to deliver the chapter. So you have everything in one place. That's awesome, and that's exactly what we were hoping to solve for yeah. with this product. Um, one thing I'm really curious to know about, when you work with your clients and you're helping them think about what what solutions are best for them and providing those customizations, does Essentials ever come up, or how do you see it um, in your day-to-day -day work um, yeah, in the running of your business? I, I suggest to many people in the community to use Essential in a way that they don't have to invest money in the uh, customizing that application. When you buy a sales cloud, you have to invest some time, yeah. but Essential is right away. Like you have to just go to the trailhead, you can go, when you log in first time, you will see a couple of trailhead links, you can go, read it, you spend barely two or three hours, and then you're up and running. So you have everything in just two or three hours by yourself, you don't have to, you don't need any developers or anyone to customize it. Anyway, like if you know process builder, then you don't need if you need then otherwise you need process builder yeah. or flow customization otherwise it's a pretty straightforward for everyone so it's a really great way to get onboarded with salesforce in general and then what's great is that the fact that they've already engaged with you you've referred them to essentials they know where to go when they're ready to get started on that, that yes, next so path yeah we have salesforce success community so people can people always come there and then ask question like oh, how, how i can integrate my email or gmail or calendar with 
Salesforce Essentials, so we have 360 degree views of our data. Yeah, so if you had any advice to give to our attendees here today regarding Essentials, thinking about their own developer careers, what would you tell them? Yep, uh, in Essential, there is a one thing like, Salesforce app access has five, four or 5,000 applications, but not everything is applicable to Essential. So Essential is a separate zone. So they have, I think, 10 or 15 applications. So there are uh, an area where you can go and develop applications for like uh, quotation or sending e automated emails or sending doc like a kind of application like DocuShine and different yeah. applications. So that is the area where a developer can focus and create application for Essential. Awesome. Thank you so much Thank for so being much. here today. Um, I know you're going to hang back for a little bit to answer some questions when we're wrapped up with the session. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so everyone, as we wrap up today, just want to remind you, you can learn more about Essentials on Trailhead, which I think that's how Rakesh found out about Salesforce, learned all of the ins and outs of Salesforce Essentials as well. And then if you stop by our demo booth and, and receive a demo, you'll be entered to win a couple pairs of AirPods that we've got going out on Raffle. So be sure to stop by in the campground downstairs to get your Salesforce Essentials demo. Thank you so much for coming today. And again, please come off to the side. Let us know if you have any questions after the session. Thank you so much. Thank you.